Let me ask you something. Have you ever started the carnivore diet? Heard about the mental clarity, the endless energy, and the laser sharp focus only to feel like you just want to nap halfway through the day? If that's you, don't worry. You're not broken and you're not alone. Today we're diving into one of the biggest root causes of low energy on carnivore, your mitochondria. And trust me, this video might save someone from giving up on a diet that could completely change their life. And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified obesity and metabolic health doctor with a master's in nutrition and functional medicine. And I've seen this story play out in my clinic and on my channel more times than I can count. So let's fix this energy mystery, shall we? I personally love eating this way. I'm sharper, more focused, and more energetic than I was when I was eating healthy whole grains and sipping on smoothies filled with 50 grams of fruit sugar. And it's why I'm so passionate about spreading this message. Not because carnivore is a trend, but because it's healing people. But here's what I've learned as a doctor who treats patients in real life. Even the best diet can fall flat if the person eating it has broken mitochondria. So before we toss the steak out with the bath water, let's understand what might be going on beneath the surface. Let's start with a simple question. What are mitochondria and why should carnivores care? Mitochondria are like little batteries in your cells. Actually scratch that. They're more like nuclear power plants. They convert the food you eat, rather it's a ribeye or a stick of butter, into usable energy. No matter how clean your diet is, if your mitochondria aren't working properly, you'll still feel like you're running on fumes. And here's a lesser known fact. Your mitochondria have their own DNA. That DNA, you got it from mom. So if your mother struggled with fatigue, weight, or mood issues, that might be part of your mitochondrial inheritance. My functional medicine training helped me understand that. But that doesn't mean you're stuck with it. It means you have to nourish your mitochondria and stop hurting them. So now let's talk about why some people still feel tired on carnivore. Let's break it down into six common root causes. Number one, past diet damage. If you spent years or decades eating seed oil, sugar, processed foods, your mitochondria have taken a hit. Imagine those little engines getting clogged with sludge. You clean up your diet, sure, but it takes time to detox the damage. And seed oils, they damage something called cardiolipin, an essential fat inside your mitochondria. You don't hear that in most nutrition talks, do you? Number two, detox fatigue. When you go carnivore, you may go through oxalate dumping, gut biome shifts, or electrolyte imbalances. That can feel like exhaustion, but it's not failure. It's your body cleaning house. It's kind of like spring cleaning. You're just in the messy middle. Number three, under eating or under absorbing fat. Listen, carnivore naturally blunts your appetite. That's great for fat loss, but some folks end up under eating. Others aren't absorbing fat well, especially if they've had their gallbladder removed or have low stomach acid. Fat is your fuel now. If you're not eating enough, or digesting it well, you're going to crash. Number four, micronutrient gaps. Even on carnivore, you can miss key nutrients, B1, riboflavin, magnesium, CoQ10. These are vital for mitochondrial function. Thiamine deficiency, for example, is common in people with a history of carb-heavy eating, alcohol use, or chronic stress. And while liver is a great source of nutrients, you'd need pork or heart to really boost your thiamine. Number five, stress and poor sleep. Your mitochondria don't just eat food, they eat your environment. Chronic stress and poor sleep sabotage energy production, no matter how clean your plate is. Number six, thyroid slowdowns. Some people see a drop in active T3 thyroid hormone on a low carb diet. That can mean slower metabolism and slower mitochondria. Now that we know why this happens, let's talk about how to fix it. Here are seven practical root cause based solutions to bring your mitochondria and your energy back to life. Number one, eat more fat smartly. If your energy is low, try increasing fat to 75 to 80% of calories. That might mean more tallow, butter, suet, or fatty cuts like ribeye. Fat is your fuel now, don't be afraid of it. Number two, support digestion. If you feel heavy, bloated, or nauseous with fat, try oxbow supplements, digestive bitters, 
or lemon water with meals. And if you're without a gallbladder, you must support fat digestion intentionally. Number three, supplement strategically. A few mitochondrial powerhouses include benfothiamine or thiamine HCL for glucose and fat metabolism, riboflavin, which is B2, which is essential for fat oxidation, magnesium glycinate, calming and essential, CoQ10, especially for anyone on statins or with fatigue, L-carnitine, helps shuttle fat into mitochondria, alpha-lipoic acid, an antioxidant and a blood sugar balancer, NAD plus boosters like NMN or NR for energy at the cellular level. Don't take everything at once, but know these are tools in your toolkit. Number four, replenish electrolytes. Low sodium is one of the biggest reasons people crash on carnivore. Salt your food. One of my favorite electrolyte supplements is Keto Chow's Salty. Drink to thirst, but don't fear salt. Number five, red light and cold therapy. Red light therapy literally stimulates energy production by boosting cytochrome C oxidase inside your mitochondria. And cold exposure, it activates brown fat and creates new mitochondria. That's called mitochondrial biogenesis. Number six, move your body but gently. Walking, zone two cardio, and strength training all build mitochondrial capacity. But here's the kicker, overtraining destroys it. Don't chase exhaustion, chase consistency. Number seven, prioritize sleep. Your mitochondria recover during deep sleep. Dark room, cool temperatures, magnesium. No screens before bed. The next day energy is made the night before. So if you're not feeling your best on carnivore, don't give up just yet. Your body may just be healing at a deeper level. And healing takes time, especially if you spent decades living in a state of metabolic chaos. Here's what I always tell my patients. Symptoms aren't punishment, they're signals. And when you learn to listen to your body, really listen because you can finally give it what it needs to thrive. And if you found value in this, like this video so the algorithm knows it's worth sharing. Subscribe if you haven't already. This channel is here to help you solve real problems, not sell you magic bullets. And if you have a friend or family member who's struggling on carnivore or keto, share this with them. You might be the reason they don't quit. Drop a comment below if you've experienced fatigue on carnivore or if you found a solution that worked for you. Let's help each other out. Let's stay the course and let's heal one mitochondria at a time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.